There's something that's been on my mind that I've been meaning to speak to for a while now, and I decided to just go ahead and do that now. And that is, what is this What is this trend with do your own research and not financial advice? I'm not a financial advisor. By that, of course, I'm talking about the army of people all over social media that want to talk about the price of Bitcoin, what Bitcoin's going to do, how Bitcoin's great, or they want to talk about Internet Computer or Solana or Cardano or whatever project that they happen to be bullish about or maybe just got paid to talk about. And it seems like nine times out of 10, they feel the need to say, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. Well, apparently in some areas, you really should do that by law. And then in other areas, possibly a lot of other areas, it's not really stipulated you know, by law that you make that extremely clear. Also, I do put it in the video description of my videos as well as in the channel description. I just don't normally stop and take the time to point out that I'm not an accredited investor. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a CPA. I'm not an economist. I'm not a mathematician. And the reason for that is in my mind, also, before I continue, I'll also note, I'm also not a lawyer or a paralegal or any kind of legal expert. This is just me just talking, right? These are just my thoughts. So there's a couple of things that I'm not real fond of about all of these people saying that this is not financial advice and you should do your own research. First of all, I'm not a big fan of parodying. And what I mean about parodying is, well, these other hundred people say it, so it must be the thing to do, so I'm going to say it too. And then they just copy each other. I guess another way to put it are, you know, the copycats. The other thing too, unless I find out that I should be saying this under the laws of where I live, although to my knowledge, there is no such law where I live. But the, the other thing is, is I think a lot of people are under the misconception that it's somehow how going to give them some, you know, some form of protection under the law. And I don't think that that's true. I mean, I, I really don't think that that's true. The reality for a lot of us is if somebody comes after us with a civil suit and they want to sue us because, you know, we didn't state right up front, I'm not a financial advisor, you should do your own research. Whether you win or lose the case in court, most of us would be financially ruined just having to go to court in the first place. And again, I'm I'm not a lawyer, so I could be very very wrong here, but I I don't think that taking the time to say that you're not a financial advisor and you should do your own research is going to save you. It's I don't I don't think a judge is going to review a case and decide whether or not it should be taken to court on the basis of, well, let me watch one of their videos. Well, you know, James clearly said he's not a financial advisor and then just throw the case out. Again, I don't know, but I I would be shocked to learn that that is a thing. I think that the reality is if Jane sues John and John's just an average dude making 50, 60, 80 thousand dollars a year and they take their five or six hundred or thousand dollars a month of discretionary income and they invest in crypto and they are on social media talking about crypto, maybe they're on YouTube making videos about crypto and John's always saying that he's not a financial advisor. You should do your own research. I, I just just don't I don't see that as some magical shield that's going to keep you out of court, that's going to keep you from going 10, 20, 50, $100,000 in debt in legal fees. I just don't see it happening. But you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm the one that's being kind of stupid here. That's always a distinct possibility. What do you guys think? If you were going to start a YouTube channel, would you just be another copycat? Would you take the time in every video to say, this is not financial advice, do your own research? And I think that some people would probably say it's not a big deal to say it, so maybe it won't help, but I don't see how it's going to hurt, so I'm going to say it anyway. And I think that that is one of the only logical arguments for going ahead and doing it. The only other logical arguments to my mind would be one, social responsibility to help make sure that people understand that you are not a financial advisor. And the last acceptable reason in my mind is 
as if a person knows that in their area of the world, they do need to say that under the law. And those are the only three reasons that to my mind make any sense. If somebody is doing it for any other reason, I just think it's kind of silly.